This is the story of how one man took BMW from the brink of bankruptcy and paved the way for the modern BMW we know today. In the post-World War II era, BMW was struggling to stay afloat with an outdated lineup of cars that failed to appeal to customers. Despite being on the verge of bankruptcy, the company was almost acquired by Daimler-Benz, which would have resulted in BMW becoming a supplier of car bodies for Mercedes-Benz. However, one man changed the fate of BMW forever, Herbert Quandt. Against all advice from his bankers, Quandt quietly increased his stake in the company and secured an agreement with the state of Bavaria that allowed him to purchase BMW. Thanks to Quandt's financial support, the models already on the drawing board came alive and the launch of the small but feisty 1500 at Frankfurt Motor Show in 1961 marked the beginning of the BMW revolution. Quan's legacy is a company that has one of the largest fan bases around the world, with his determination, vision and financial support helping to save BMW and transform it into a premium brand that challenges Mercedes-Benz today. But all stories start at the beginning, so let's go back in time. As I said, the post-World War II era was a tough time for the German automotive industry, with BMW being one of the companies hit hardest. The German car maker was not generating enough revenue to keep the company afloat, even though the BMW 502 sedan and 507 Roadster were technically proficient, they were stylistically outdated and they started to lose their appeal with customers. The only cars keeping BMW alive were the Isetta crossover midget and the sporty 700. I bet you never thought that this car was a part of the reason that BMW could survive. While BMW engineers and designers had new models in the works, BMW was losing money fast and by 1959 the company was on the brink of bankruptcy. At the time, Daimler-Benz, the largest German automotive company, saw an opportunity to acquire BMW and convert it into a supplier of car bodies for Mercedes-Benz. And if they were successful, BMW as we know today would never be. Hans Faith the head of the BMW management board presented a proposition to the board in 1959. The proposition was an ultimatum, declare bankruptcy or let Daimler-Benz buy the company. Faith was also a representative of the Dutch bank, one of BMW's principal creditors and supporter of the company's buyout. However, one man would change the fate of BMW forever. Herbert Quandt on December 9, 1959, the acquisition by Daimler-Benz had almost won the vote from the BMW board. A few disgruntled shareholders managed to adjourn the meeting just before the board could make the final decision. One of those shareholders was Herbert Quandt. Initially in favour of the Daimler-Benz takeover, Quandt thought about the trade unions and workers who were opposing such a measure, thus creating an instability in factories. After some careful thinking and against all advice from his bankers, BMW's white knight started to quietly increase his stake in the company. And after his number of shares rose to almost 50%, he secured an agreement with the state of Bavaria that would allow him to purchase BMW. Thanks to Quan's financial support, the models which were already on the drawing board came alive and the new class or new class designs formed the basis for the modern BMW. The car that started the BMW revolution was the small 1500, launched at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 1961, not even two years after the near collapse of the company. And these models ensured BMW's solvency after the company's financial crisis and established a new identity for BMW. Now Herbert was a business genius, born on June 22nd, 1910 in Pritzburg, a small town in modern-day Brandenburg, Herbert Quandt inherited his father's business acumen, increasing the family's wealth over the years to include stakes in major factories in several European countries. After the 1959 close call, Quandt helped pave the way for BMW's ascent. Two years after the launch of the 1500, the 1800 model appeared, transforming BMW into a manufacturer that could compete with the big boys. Now Quandt believed in decentralized authority and he left the running of BMW to others around him until 1969, when he made his second most brilliant choice, first being the whole savior of BMW thing. You see, in 1969, he appointed another genius man by the name of Eberhard von Kahnheim. 
as managing director. Now Von Kanheim further transformed BMW from a regular brand into a premium one that would challenge Daimler, Mercedes-Benz itself in the future. Imagine how peed off the board at Merck was. They almost bought BMW and now the company came back and is challenging them. But who was this Von Kahnheim guy? Well, he was a German businessman born on February 7th, 1928 and he studied mechanical engineering at the Technical University of Stuttgart and began his career in the automotive industry in 1959. Now, in 1970, when he got appointed as CEO of BMW, Kahnheim transformed the company into a leading luxury car brand, expanding its product line and increasing its global presence. He oversaw the launch of iconic models such as the BMW 3 Series, the BMW 5 Series and the 7 Series, all of which we still love and see on the road today. And he successfully positioned the brand as a top player in the global automotive industry. After stepping down as CEO in 1993, Kahnheim continued to serve on BMW's supervisory board until 1999. Kahnheim's contributions to the automotive industry were widely recognized as he received numerous awards and honors during his lifetime. He was named an honorary senator of the Technical University of Munich and a building at the university's mechanical engineering facility was named after him. Now Kahnheim passed away on February 17, 2019 but his legacy lives on in the continued success of BMW Group. Thanks to these two men, the BMW fanboys like me have cars to drool over, like the BMW 1M, the M5, the amazing M3, the Z3 M Coupe. I mean, I can go on and on, but my point is, Herbert, my guy, thanks. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think of BMW as a brand. I know not everybody are fans of them, but trust me, if you ever drive a proper performance BMW, you'll understand why so many people love them. They are tons of fun, amazingly balanced, and really fast. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like a lot of my other stuff. So just get through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?